Hi guys, um, we are working on a series of um, dish towels. Um, they are those uh, um, not fuzzy kind. I don't know how you how do you describe them, but um, this kind, this kind of dish towel, lovely, huh? <laughs> Anyway, I bought some dish towels at Crafts Direct. They're really nice, um, wonderful quality dish towels. I found some more um, at Walmart if they were a deal, and I just found out there's a reason why they're a deal. They're pretty thin. They're almost like cheesecloth instead of like a dish towel dish towel, but um, they're not horrible either. They're just not as nice. They're just not as nice. So, um, it's worth the money to, to buy the nicer ones at Crafts Direct, or I'm sure there's other places you can buy them too, but these happen to be really nice, high quality towels. So, um, we're doing a series of Minnesota themed images. Um, if you'd like, uh, the images, just let me know. Um, here's the one we're doing now. So what you do is you tape down your image onto your surface. Place your towel over it and trace it with a Sharpie, okay? And uh, then after that, you want to um, dry your towel in a, in a um, dryer on setting on high for at least uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Or you can use your iron on cotton setting. Put a piece of paper over your image and iron it real good. What you want to do is heat set that um, ink into your towel. So this is, uh, this is the one we're doing right now. I went ahead and I'm protecting my surface with freezer paper, waxy side down. And I'm gonna go ahead and I've taped that freezer paper to my surface, to my work table, and now I am going to um, tape down my towel so we can get painting. Here you go. Let me tip you down here so you can see what I'm working on. So here's my image. Um, so as you can see, I just I just um, traced around. If I put this underneath here, you can see that you can see it. You can see through it real nice. Um, so I just traced around my image and um, traced over the words in a little heart. It doesn't have to be uber perfect. Just as cute because it's a handmade gift. So I'm going to go ahead. I hope you guys can see. It's getting dark now. The sun went down and... Um, um, I don't have wonderful light in here. I should go get my little lamp and plug it in. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to pause a second. Hang on. All right, that is much better. I think you can see that nicer now. <laughs> okay, so what we're using is regular acrylic paint. I'm going to use um, Calypso Blue today. And I'm going to use, um, let me put my glasses on so I can see. Terra Coral, ooh, pretty. So whenever you're using acrylic paint, go ahead and shake that up. So what I'm gonna do is, I want this kind of watercolory look. You know what, I think I'm gonna use this fun green too, because it's just fun. I put a little bit of that on my palette. So it's just gonna take a tiny bit. Now I've been using this palette for other, um, other paintings. So it's just going to take a little bit. My girls are in here eating something I'm sure is not edible. Izzy, what you eating? Chewy bones, they're important to puppies. Okay, there we go. So here's my palette. I'm gonna be using um, the blue, the kind of, um, uh, what is it called? Citron green and that um, coral color. So I've got refreshed my water, so my water's nice and wet. I'm gonna use my big brush. So I'm using two flat brushes. You can use any brush you like. You do want a smaller brush and a larger brush. I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna wet this down a bit. I'm gonna stay away from my edges a little bit because um, it bled pretty bad last time, which I thought was pretty because it reminded me of Northern Lights. 
but this time I'm going to experiment and see if I just wet down the center um, what that will look like. So kind of the fun thing about this is kind of just experimenting. I'm staying away from the heart altogether. I want to make sure that my heart doesn't get any of this um, blue or green color in it. So okay, so what I did there was I just uh, I just wet down the inside of the steak, kind of staying at least a quarter of an inch away from the um, outside edges there. I'm gonna pull this up in here on just a titch. So I'm leaving like a quarter of an inch border that's not wet and I'm staying at least that far away from my heart. So basically the center is all wet. Let's see what happens now when we throw a little paint in there. I'm gonna water my paint down a lot and I'm gonna stick with my and well, no, I'm gonna to move to my little brush. So what I'm gonna do is water this paint down. So you see, I'm just gonna pull a little bit of paint into my brush. And I didn't, um, I did not um, dab my brush off on paper towel like I normally would. So it's very, very saturated with water. So I'm just pulling this in here. And what I found is that this green is nearly a yellow when I put it in here. So it's kind of fun, pretty color. Now it's, it's, this is working well. It's kind of bleeding right to the edge. Um, if it goes over the edge a little bit, that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I like that it's kind of a watery color look. So you can see I'm just pulling that watery paint down into these areas. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, we're gonna go right over this. Now because um, we heat set our image that we traced on here, because we heat set it, it's not um, bleeding. So that's really helpful. If I had not heat set it, we might get, um, you know, some bleeding of the, the lines there and that would not be as pretty. So we wanna make sure we heat set our image really well. This is quite pretty. I'm doing a lot of this yellow because um, or the citron green that's called because when I um, when I start adding the blue it's gonna bleed up into it because it's very wet up in that area and I want uh, some of this yellow to show so I'm going about halfway down my state before I start adding the blue now if you want your color more intense you just add more of the paint in there All right, now I'm going to go ahead and try what I've done at the top there because I don't want it to bleed off. I just realized it says Minnesota and I made it yellow. Ew. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back in and add a little water because I dried that and I like I get like I said before, I'm gonna stay away from um, I'm gonna stay away from the heart and I'm gonna stay away from my edge. But I wanna give this um, the blue that I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna give it something to do. I'm gonna give it some place to go. I actually don't like that when I put the extra paint there. So I'm just adding plain water to it and it blends it right in. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go up here and, oops, I'm not curious about it. Now 
these towels are really doing their job. They really like to soak up the water. So keep that in mind as you're working. Just kind of go with whatever messes you end up making because it's inevitable. Let's see what happens here. So we're just playing with the paint a little bit. And I'm going to be careful. I'm going to try not to get into that heart area too much. I might have to take after the, um, I might have to dry it quickly. I don't want that to bleed in there. It's quite pretty though. I like it. Okay, I am going to dry that area right there. back in just kind of streaking this in here the other one I've done um, I thought it kind of looked like uh, northern lights so I think I'll go with that with this one too Okay, I'm staying away from that heart. I don't want any of this getting into the heart, though I see it's starting to want to. The problem with this is that these towels are, um, they don't have a um, sealer on them, so everything wants to bleed. So keep that in mind when you're working on your project, everything wants to bleed. So it's gonna soak in, because that's what these towels are made to do. Um, when you're doing your dishes, you want them to soak in. All right, so I'm staying away from that heart. I think I might come into my dark blue now. I had um, Prima Coat uh, Midnight Blue, beautiful color. Yeah, I'm just gonna add that in there. You just think about we're just playing. We're just playing, playing, playing. You can hear my Izzy snoring. She's tired. Poor mama. Hard work taking care of babies. Izzy and Lucy both had puppies um, this fall. So we have currently 13 puppies at our house. Um, Izzy's puppies go home in less than two weeks. Their new owners are super excited and I am for them too. This is just so fun to relive when I first got my Lucy um, with these families. I love it. Lucy, had, or, well both the girls had super adorable puppies but Something, something extra special about Izzy's puppies. Oh, 
and that could be just because they're older. Okay, I'm going to play with this a little bit. I'm thinking... I don't know. That kind of messes up with my words, doesn't it? I was just kind of playing to see if I could make like a tree image and still be able to read what it says there. Maybe. It's kind of one tree off to the side there. Okay, I'm just dabbing in a little tree image here. Remember, this is your project. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to do what I'm doing. If you're like, oh, she messed it up. Well, <laughs> that's okay. We can mess it up. It's kind of pretty though. All right, I'm gonna dry this. I concentrated over this little heart area because I need that completely dry before I can um, add in my pink. And make sure you wash your brushes out really good. That's kind of pretty. I'm liking that. Now you see, I was drying drying the underside too because as you can see, it's bleeding through. This uh, material is very uh, thin and porous. So I was drying both sides to try to get it to really be nice and dry. Now what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna splat this a little bit, but I'm gonna cover up my little heart because I don't want that to get any splatting on it. So I'm just gonna tear a little bit of paper towel here and stick it right over that hot heart area. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my big brush this time. And I'm gonna get some of this dark blue and I'm gonna go pretty intense with it because I want it nice and dark. I want it to really show up. 
So it's still quite watered down, but it's a lot um, more paint in there than was in there before when I was just painting with it. So now I'm gonna splat and I'm just gonna hit it against my finger. We don't have to worry about that little heart area because it's completely covered. Now, if I want to, I can, um, it's pretty cute. I'm going to sprinkle a little out here too, because I tend to sprinkle more in one spot than the other. Okay. I'm sure that's All right. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the water. Okay. So this one is done. Uh, I'll let you have a look at it here. Here we go. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, when this, I'm going to set this aside and let it air dry. You want it to be completely dry. And then once it's air dry, you're going to want to throw it back in the dryer on high heat for, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. You want to really set the stain that we've applied. Set it, okay? Um, and again, if you, um, if you want to use an iron, you can do that too. But I'm going to make a bunch of these, so I'm just going to wait till they're all air dry and I'm just going to throw them all in the dryer at the same time. Uh, once they're dry, they won't um, impact each other in the dryer, So, um, but you want to make sure they're totally dry. So I probably will not even do that until tomorrow. I'll let them dry overnight. So isn't that cute, you guys? I don't mind that it's bled off to the side. I think it's really homey and sweet. Um, one thing I might do because I did this tree in here when it's dry and before I throw it in the dryer, so like tomorrow before I throw it in the dryer, I might just come back in and darken up some of these lines, uh, some of the words, um, the lettering, um, just so it shows up a little more because I really uh, hid that in there with the tree. But I still love it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching with me. This is a very fun, quick project. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.